The demand for infrastructure has been increasing, but with a road network of over 200,000 kilometers in the region, only 20,000 kilometers have been tarmacked, posing a huge task ahead in the wake of insufficient funds allocated to road construction. However, efforts to secure sufficient funds have been futile with all governments having to rely on external funding, which in itself is not enough compared to the task at hand. Together, we can overcome these challenges. We would be a much stronger region. It's very clear we don't have enough paved network. We have a population of 200 million and the paved network is less than 50,000 50, kilometers everywhere. Can you imagine that? That's, that's frightening. So how are our people moving? At what speed are they moving? East African countries continue to implement a road master plan developed jointly under the East African Community Initiative and which aims at integrating the region's transport corridors to meet the growing demand for road transport by the increasing intra-regional trade and vehicular traffic. We also give a priority to upgrading of roads uh, that are suffering from traffic congestion. You, anybody of you who has been to Dar es Salaam is a chaos. When you arrive at the airport and you want to go to the city center, it takes three hours. Somebody who, come, who goes from here by road to Nairobi may be reaching Nairobi. But from the airport to the city center may take more than three hours. So we are coming up with strategies on how to decongest Dar es Salaam. As the last resort to obtaining finance for development, the heads hinted on the need to take advantage of public-private partnerships, among other sources of funds. Is the PPP Act, because PPP Act allows to uh, private sector to bring in their money and utilize it, then you, they either they get revenue through the toll, tolling or you pay, you pay through it. And therefore, we have two... Uh, programs that we have come up with. One is the annuity program, whereby the contractor will come with the, with the designers, he will come with the finance, maybe either from his own or from the bank, he will do the project, then you will pay slowly for 10 years. So that way then, you actually start benefiting straight away in two years on a new road, and therefore the economic returns for the country increases. Uh, so even payment in the future becomes less. That is one. The other one is where now you have very high traffic road and therefore you can be able to put up a toll and you will be able to raise revenue. Recently, a commission of inquiry whose probe and asked wrote at Uganda National Roads Authority and lifted the lead of 4 trillion Uganda shillings scam that had court held its approval until the court concludes the petition filed by contractors challenging it. However, the executive director has revealed that the authority is undergoing restructuring. Do reforms here and not do reforms there. So as long as we are cleaning up UNRWA and building systems and changing the way we do business, they've got to change as well so that we have good partners. The East African community adopted a regional protocol on road construction and usage, a development that the heads of road agencies say have no problem with it, given the difference in road policy.